Today I'm going to talk about finding Instagram influencers for your dropshipping store. Let's dive in. All right, so three really, really simple ways that you can find Instagram influencers to get more traffic to your store for your products. This is what I'm going to go over right now. So number one is very, 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 very simple. And it's just good old fashioned searching through the hashtags, searching through different profiles that are related to your products. Go through, and this is a really good way to find all of the vastly underpriced uh, influencers. So these are the ones I'm talking about that might have um, upwards of sort of, you know, 10 to, to 100,000, maybe even more. Uh, but yeah, you know, obviously the, the ones that are in the millions, they're, they're gonna be farly, far more uh, heavily priced than, than the ones that are uh, at, that, at that sort of follower range. So that's a really good place to start because they're so underpriced, it's not funny. And think about when you're looking at your Facebook ads, if you go through the analytics there, how much it's cost you to actually get in front of, say, 100,000 people. Um, it, it's a lot. You know, if you're, if you're going to look at an Instagram influencer that's got that many followers, it's going to be probably half, I'm guessing around about half. Um, for the ones that I've used, it's, that's what it's sort of worked out to be. Uh, obviously, every, every, every industry is different. Each, in, each individual influencer is different. Uh, so it will change. But um, like I said, you know, it can be up to half what you would be spending on, on actual Facebook ads. And the good thing about using influencers too is they're just so highly trusted by their, you know, their followers. They, you know, they engage with them. That they're following them for a reason. They, they really connect with them for, for a reason. A lot of their photos and images, um, they're not just going to just post your, your product on there, usually just as a, uh, an ad, which is a good thing. They'll sort of integrate it into a post. That's what they do most of the time. So that's my number one tip. Number two, uh, a really easy way to find, uh, you know, some of the really like the biggest influencers going around is using uh, Webstagram. So if that's a website, you can go on there and basically just type in, say, for instance, for my partner's sort of store here, we type in hairstylist or, um, you know, the mechanic down the road, they type in cars, whatever. But um, it'll come up with all the biggest profiles. And there's also, uh, I think, well, the last time I was on there, was a list of uh, really the, the most popular hashtags underneath that search bar. There was a, uh, a search bar for that as well. So, sorry, not a search bar, a list of the, the, the yeah. biggest uh, hashtags there. So. You can go through and look at those as well to, to find all the biggest influencers. So how do you reach out to them? Well, basically what you will do is you'll look in their bio. If they do have any sort of contact, contact information there, then that is basically an invitation to contact them in regards to advertising. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it is. <laughs> but uh, uh, they might not have a, a direct link to contact them, but if they've got a link to their blog or their website or anything like that, just, just follow the garden path, just follow it down through. Uh, and go to their website, then they'll have contact forms, um, information to contact them. Usually, that's where you can do the um, do the business there, and uh, obviously just reach out, and say you know what you're what you're actually looking to do, and uh, hopefully you uh, get get a really solid uh, influencer on your side. Number three is uh, Tribe. So this is a really good website that I've found, and I I think it's just such a great idea. You initially post uh, a job and influencers will come and take the job uh, and then present you with what they've come up with. So uh, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily work for your really, really expensive products. You're not going to get those in front of people because the way Tribe works is the influencers actually have to buy the product and integrate it into their post in some which way, way shape or form. You'll, you'll put a budget on your job saying, I want to have this product featured, uh, this is the, what I'm willing to spend, and you know, that it will come back, that all the influencers will either um, buy the product, or if they're, if they're interested in the job, they'll buy the product, uh, they'll do the post first, submit it with the cost of what they, you know, what they want to charge for that post, and then you can decide from, say, 16 influencers that have all bought your product and uh, submitted a, a um, a custom post for your product and then you can choose which one you want and the reason I say it won't work for your most expensive products is they're not going to buy it just to 
try and get a one-off job. So the way I, I, I see this working and the way that I have tested it once before, and uh, that is to use your cheaper products that are on this store. And um, obviously they can buy those fairly easily, do the Instagram post, and then once uh, they've done the post, you, you, you pay for it, they've, they've done the post, that traffic is then gonna start coming through to your website. You obviously, you'll give them their link, your link for their buyer. And then as soon as they get to your store, you just start retargeting the shit out of all the traffic that comes. All right, so you don't necessarily need to, for that tribe um, website, you don't necessarily need them to go and buy your most expensive product and put that in front of the market. Use your cheaper stuff. All right, so I hope you got some value out of that. If you did, give us a thumbs up. I think uh, Clint's on to me at the moment. Yes, we're gonna have a conference call in a minute. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna have loads of great content uh, over the coming year. And uh, yeah, obviously uh, if you do wanna learn dropshipping, come over to dropshipdownunder.com.au and uh, get into the course there and we'll show you how to do it. Thanks guys.